5 over 18 meters per second. Well, this means one kilometer in 60 minutes, which technically means a thousand meters in 60 multiplied by 60, 3,600 seconds. So you just get a thousand and you divide it by 3,600 because that's a thousand meters divided by 3,600 seconds, which in turn will turn out to be five over 18 meters per meters per second. Okay, a speed of a car is reduced from 52, 72 to 54 kilometers an hour in a distance of 35 meters. Find the deceleration or retardation, assuming it's uniform true. Uniform means it's the same acceleration as it's true. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply 72 by five over 18. I'm gonna turn it into meters per second. So how, will somebody multiply 72 by five over 18? Some of you can do it in your heads. Well, what you get? Oh, you're gonna make me do it in my head. It's 20 meters per second. Okay, and 54 is actually, anybody? 15, okay. So I've rechanged the question. Okay, now, I think I'm going to use a uh, b, sorry, b squared equals u squared plus 2as. Why am I going to use that one? Can anybody tell me? Let me know. Yeah, 15 squared is my u, my v is 20 squared, and my 2a, shh, my 2 times my acceleration times 35. 2 times 35? 70, yeah? No. 70A. I'm going to do 15 squared, take away 20 squared. I'm going to get minus 175. Happens to equal 70A. Therefore, A must be uh, minus 2.5 meters per second squared. You cool with that? If this continues, how much further will the car travel before coming to come to rest? Okay, that's handy enough. Let me show you how. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start it off at the, what do you think my U value should be? 15 or 20? How much further after the initial 35 meters? Start off at 15. Your V value, your A value, minus 2.5. Your S value is what we're after, and T value we don't really care too much about. So what can we do here? I think we can use uh, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS again. And what happens when we do that? Anybody tell me? So we go for v squared, which is 0 squared, u squared is 15 squared, 2 times a is minus 5s, making the s small in comparison to my 5, because they look very alike. And then I'm just going to get 5s equals, what's 15 squared, lads? 225? Yeah, that's the same as. And then, who got a s value of 41? Not 41, uh, 45. And we also got 45 meters. Going to travel an extra 45 meters. A cargo starts from rest with uniform acceleration too. So start from rest, what does that mean? Its initial velocity is zero and its acceleration is two. Give your final answers as rational numbers. After how many seconds will the speed be 30 kilometers an hour? Well, look, we did that in the last question, didn't we? What's 30 multiplied by 5 over 18, wasn't it? 30 multiplied by 5 over 18, anybody? Uh, give it as a fraction. 25 over 8. Thank you. So, 
what it's saying is its speed is 25 over 3 in meters per second. Is that okay? Because we learned in the previous question, let's multiply by 5 over 18. Okay. And they're looking for time, isn't it? So what formula do you think I should use for this one? I have V, U, and A, and I'm looking for T. Which formula do you think I should use? V equals U plus AT is one of the formulas. So 25 over 3 equals 0 plus 2T. Okay. It's got a 3 on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be, yeah. Then divide 25 over 3 by 2, and you get 25 over 6 seconds. You okay with that? How far from the starting point will it be? If, how far from the starting point will it be when the target has a speed of 60? Now, what we're going to do with the 60, guys, we're going to multiply 60 by 5 over 18. What's 60 times 5 over 18? What? 50 over 3. Uh, if you research back to the last question we did, we learned how to change kilometers an hour into meters per second. Is that all right? So that would be 50 over 3. Okay. Now, this time the UVAS is 50 over 3. What type of question is it, an S or a T question? We're looking for the distance, aren't we? So it's an S question. I have a feeling we should probably use V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. We know V, we know U, we have A, and now we need to find out what S is. S is for distance covered or displacement. So what do we think we're gonna do? V squared is 50 over 3 squared. U squared is 0. 2AS. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4S. I'm not even going to multiply that out. I'm just going to do 50 over 3 squared divided by 4. Anybody care to give me the answer for that? 2,500? Okay, go on. And then when you do all that, 625 over 9 meters. Last one. If the particle is then brought to rest in 2 meters, what is the deceleration? Oh, so I'm treating this question as a continuation of the last one. Okay, that's what I think I need to do. Now, I have an idea for this though. Okay. So, its initial speed is what? 60 kilometers an hour, which we said earlier was 50 over. Was it 50 over 3? Yeah. Yeah. Our final velocity is going to be? Anybody? Zero. Why? Yeah, A is the goal of the question. Do we know what S is? Two meters. Uh, what formula do you think I should use? Yeah. Now, that's a direct line. Some of you might use V equals U plus AT. You might find out the T value. And then you could put that into S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And that's a two-step process versus our one-step process. Is that all right? You do it two different ways. Now, I'm going to be, I'm happy to do it the easy way. Safe to say A is going to be negative, isn't it? Why does A have to be negative? Yeah. And now what we're going to say is it's minus 50 over 3 squared equals 4s. And what happens to that 4, lads? 
what's going to happen to it. Going to divide it by four. All right, into the calculator with it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's an acceleration. It's a, sorry, the S is wrong. It should be A. It should be an A. I was about to get negative distance, which made no sense. Okay, go on. What do we get when we throw that in? 2,500 over 9 meters per second squared. Oh, sorry. 625 over 9. Okay. Did anybody get that last?